trying, begging, just begging for some expertise, some advice on fishing with tip ups. Because let me tell you, I struggled today and I thought I had a day, a day of happiness and excitement all set up. Well, the hunter fish going ice fishing today on a lake I have never ice fished before. So that's a challenge. Finding fish on a lake that I've never ice fished before. Now, I have bass fished it many times. So I'm going to use some of the tips I learned from Darren Shap last week from H2O Tackle. You should click on that link if you ever wondered about tip ups and different ways of catching fish to the ice. That link is below. The first thing I'm doing, <laughs> I'm going to follow the crowd. Out there, I see about a dozen guys. So I'm gonna go over there and see if I can't show them a thing or two from the hunter fish. Thanks to my Vexilar, I know I'm about nine foot deep. I also know from studying the maps and being out here before that there's a big hole right in front of me. Dips down from five foot down to 20 foot pretty quick. And certainly that's what those other guys over there are focusing on, the actual break. I don't want to be called too much of a sputter, so I'm not going to go up next to him, but I'm going to kind of, this eight foot range, I think is a great depth to start ice fishing. I'm going to set a tip up as predators, in particular pike is what I really want to catch today, are going to come up and cruise. I think uh, we'll catch bluegill up in that 10 plus 10 foot range too. But being the fact that we're in nine foot of water, I'm going to pull out oh, four to five feet of line on my tip up. Get one of these nice uh, pike minnows, which I got at Big surprise, I know, I got them at H2O Tackle. Clear H2O Tackle. Put a link to that in the description below if you live in my area. So I put that hook right through the, the meat underneath the dorsal fin. I'm not, I'm not gonna puncture any of its guts or uh, organs. That's just the meat. Drop it down there. I'm gonna let him do his thing. We got a flag, the first one of the day. Let's see if there's anything on it still. I have no idea how long it was up. Because I was uh, moving some things around. For the last five minutes, I haven't looked at this like for at least five minutes. So we'll see. See that? See it moving? Looks you see it moving. Let's see what we got here. There's something on there. Uh, there was. Ah, uh, yeah, it still is. I don't pike or bass. We'll find out soon. It's a little pike. Shoo! Eat one of that minnow. <laughs> now he's he's not. I don't even know if he's legal. I don't think so. He got to be 24 inches, but I wouldn't keep him that size anyway. See you later. Got another flag today. You see, it's running. It's just running along the Oh, I missed it. Stick! Stick! 
third time this flag's gone off in about 20 minutes. I haven't caught any of them. So, I'm motivated. They don't seem to be spinning again. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. day went down and I'm curious what you think I was doing wrong or, or what the heck's going on I, I tend to think I'm not doing anything wrong it's just these fish are taking a bait and they're moving with it and then they spit it or they're just ripping it off the hook I, I don't know I was out with Darren Shap at Clear H2O Tackle just last weekend and in that video link to that's popping up right now that's extremely informative so uh, he had a whole lot more success with tip-ups than I did you know, I do all sorts of bass fishing, tournament fishing, and you come across spots that are just hot. Well, I, I'm not a novice at ice fishing, but definitely don't have the expertise that I do ice fishing as I do bass fishing. And this spot, this flag, I put a flag in one spot. I've had four flags in less than an hour on a tip up. Now I got another tip up 150 feet away. Nothing. I'm not, I'm not complaining about the action, but I'm a little confused by it. We'll see if I can't catch another smallmouth. I'm Come on. Don't be like that. Spin. Start running. Let me catch you. comment below let me thank you right now i'd always love to learn for different people if you love ice fishing you love fishing period this is the channel for you go ahead and hit that subscribe button click on the notifications you're not gonna be disappointed as we hunt for fish year round thank you for tuning in until next time i'm gonna see you on the water